This is the Lunchy game, and let me tell you about its very dark past. This game takes place in what we can assume is the United States. The reason for that is because on the back of the nutrition facts, it's labeled 12 IBS, also known as pounds. I know that this is the United States because us Americans are too stubborn to use the metric system. But also, on the same back of the box, you can see 20 meters, and I'm not sure how many football fields that is. So, maybe I'm wrong. There are so many illegal things in this building, but let's go one at a time. The combustibles. The combustibles don't have any numbers for us to read with the emergency response guidebook, which most first responders have, also known as UNID. None of them tell you what they are with words or numbers. They only have symbols. Once the cheese enters the slot, a room opens up, but once you enter, the door immediately closes. You're locked in. However, there are newspapers on the floor. They look as if they were burnt, trying to hide evidence. The headlines say, Government and Politics, Senate Corruption, either Alien Stock or Allen Stock, Not Eating, and Similar Species. We got more out of that than you think. We are left to assume the similar species are the Peak Bottle, Treatable Bar, and the Lunchy Pack, and maybe the government was trying to hide them. Senate corruption in government and politics. Like the newspapers say, this is only what we can assume with all the evidence that we are presented by, which is none. Me studying was actually in the script. Once you enter the warehouse, you are met with a bigger peak bottle compared to the others. Not saying the others are small, not saying size matters. <clears throat> Anyways, it seems the crates are not holding peak bottles, or Maybe they are. If not, then what are they? What's inside? The size of the single peak bottle is 3.7 times larger than if we took a peak bottle out of its packaging. Once you enter the hallway, you are left with a body, a door, and a bunch of treatables. But wait, with those treatables, there is also a key card for the door. Was he escaping? Was he hiding? We can only assume the treatable killed him, or once she killed him and trapped the treatable inside the next room. I guess we'll never find out. We are left with an empty office. They must have all died or ran. Once you enter the small office room, you are left with someone in the chair, clapping when you pick up the treatable bar. It's a trap. He's there to distract you. Maybe Peak and Treatable are doing this against their will. They're programmed. Or maybe... They are restless souls inside of these suits. The latter is the better possibility due to the multiple bodies found in the establishment. Maybe you're the killer, dressed up like the killer. Or maybe these souls in these suits don't want to be the only ones. Once you collect the peak bottle, the peak guy disappears. Like the animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy's when they move. Or at least it did for me. It could have been a glitch or bug. What do you think? The only fire extinguisher there is an A, B, C, and E. This means there is no kitchen in the building. Due to there not being a K extinguisher, K stands for kitchen, by the way, at the end of the game, you are forced to eat it. No going around this. You must eat it. What do you think? Am I crazy? Am I analyzing this too much? I'm not crazy. The voices in my head tell me I'm not anyways.